Why are you chiming in to bully me? <laughs> what? I need it? Oh. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Francie? Yeah. Okay. What do you do that you're so fucking confident all the time? <laughs> I think that's great, Francie. Here's the, here's the... <laughs> this is going to be a New York Post article tomorrow. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, thank you so much for having me on air. Yes, when she first said I should be bullied, I do think that's the agenda of feminists in America. I do think, yes, I do think feminist studies majors want to bully white men. Why do, why do I think we're under attack, Tucker? I'm so glad you asked. He's <laughs> selling my soul just to be on TV in any capacity. Do you like feminist studies? I really love it, yeah. A lot of great people. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of queers in there? Oh, she said that, sorry, no, no, that was... <laughs> I said you like it, just repeating what she said. You guys laughed a little, and as you were laughing, you couldn't hear, but she goes, we got a lot of queers in there. Then, once the silence came back, I went, you got a lot of queers in there? <laughs> I bet the feminist studies major's pretty fucking gay, Francie. You know what my major in college was? Football. I think Francie is great, good. <laughs> I was gonna say great, and then I changed it to good last night. <laughs> and I don't think you guys are on either side, necessarily. You keep going back and forth, but certainly you're not on my side, Phil. And I don't think there are sides. I think women and men should support each other. <laughs> Talk myself into a hole. And I think our trans brothers and sisters are also equally beautiful, if not more beautiful, but not more beautiful if there are other marginalized groups present. <laughs> No one's marginalized if they're white. No, that's not true. If they're trans, it's better to be trans. It's not better to be anything. No one's better than anyone, but I'm worse. <laughs> and I should be bullied. <laughs> you have trans. Yeah. yeah. No worries. I'm not cursing. No, you, you do you. <laughs> to read it up. <laughs> If you want to curse at me too, anyone's welcome. <laughs> Take one, everyone gets one shot. <laughs> Keep it low like she did. Don't, you know, don't steal the show with it. Don't, fuck you, don't do that. <laughs> but make sure, you know, don't be shy. <laughs> and fuck you as well. <laughs> Can I ask you about your dress? Yeah. Um, I should have had a question. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Were you, were you, was it on your mind before the show? Yeah. Especially because I'm the heckler guy. <laughs> I said I was scared. You were scared that it was going to be a thing. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if I just cut out the part where you said you had Tourette's? <laughs> heckler keeps saying fuck you. <laughs> um, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, but she's not saying it in a mean way. Yes, she was. <laughs> yes, she was. You weren't there. If you were there, you would have seen. <laughs> Destroyed Santa. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> You're watching, huh? I swear to God I told him I had Tourette's. Like, I wouldn't have left that out. That was a crucial piece of information. <laughs> Jesus in the front yeah, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. The man that looks like the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, it's it's Jesus Christ. I feel judged every time we open and I'm Jewish, I don't even I thought we killed you a while ago. You're back! <laughs> I'm living in Portland and explode away. What's your name? Jonah. <laughs> it's the name Jesus would have picked if he came back again and wanted to keep it more low-key this time. I'm Jonah Chrysanthemum. <laughs> I'm a woodworker, not a carpenter. <laughs> what do you do? No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! What do you make? Bows? What's that? This is the most Portland shit. Bow and arrows. <laughs> you know, medieval weaponry with here. <laughs> is there a big enough bow market in Portland? 
that you cut a profit. This is that so refreshing, by the way. We just came from San Francisco and everyone works in tech. You get, you get to Portland and you're like, I create wheels. I herd goats and... <laughs> what else do you, you don't herd goats, do you? His girlfriend? No? Okay. What do you do? You're a farmer? Shut the fuck up. What the hell? Can someone be a banker or something? Yeah. Do you farm what? You farm veggies. Okay. A liberal farmer says it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. They put it out of the ground and they put it back in. She needs food too. I'm a catch and release farmer. to take carrots from the mother. I feel like you have a friend, like it's not just you two in the friend group. Like you have a friend group full of people that do are you bullshit shit. Are you, are you guys in a commune? Is <laughs> are you? You are? <laughs> you are not! Are, you were in you a are? commune? How long were you in a commune for? Two years? So what was the deal with the commune? Like, why'd you leave? Yeah. What? <laughs> Can you just give us the shorthand of the drama? There was just like a particular person and maybe a couple of people who kind of were in charge. And <gasps> okay, got it. So it was kind of like a cult. <laughs> Basically, there was a leader and how can I put it? He kind of f all the women. Okay, you see? And are, and are you all right? <laughs> you get the hiccups every day? Well, this is actually more interesting than that. Every single day? For the past two years. <laughs> We're like, what happened on that? <laughs> what happened on that fateful day? You're on a ladder. Oh, you're a Mormon. You what? You were? You've converted. You're very She's like, I believe in God, but I'm so much more gay than believing in God. <laughs> Did the hiccups start after you came out? Can you sequence for me the, the, the becoming, the being a Mormon, the, be, the not becoming gay, I mean, you were born that way. So the, the being gay, the Mormonism, and the hiccups, can you rank, give me a ranking order of timeline. Okay, so I'm born Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> Not the order I thought we were going to have. I decided to be gay, but I was born Mormon. <laughs> being gay is a choice I chose. <laughs> Wait, where was the mission to? San Bernardino, okay. So it's more of like, I was picturing a third world country. <laughs> I'm all the bitches, let's get more of them. Okay, so when you paddle into that wave, you're gonna wanna do so with the force of the Lord. <laughs> you're dropping in too much with the devil, you need to drop in with Christ. You got the hiccups. Okay, one hiccup? <laughs> One single hiccup? Like an atom bomb in your day? <laughs> As in, if you haven't had one all day and it's 1159, you're like, <laughs> This doesn't sound as bad as I thought. Some people have no legs, you know what I mean? <laughs> a hiccup a day and you were gay. <laughs> when did you come out? Um, about a year ago, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, she checked her watch. <laughs> Yep, so good. <laughs> what was the defining moment in your upbringing? War. War? Yeah. Oh, dark. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. That's not even a place anymore, is it? <laughs> Wait, you grew up in Soviet Yugoslavia? No, it's not Soviet. It is Yugoslavia. You don't know geography. I don't know geography. I don't care about Yugoslavia at all. <laughs> what was the conflict? Who was fighting who? It was internal war. It separated in five countries. Yugoslavia did. Yeah. So what What are the five? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck you guys because you're shaking your heads at me. If I asked you what five countries Yugoslavia split up into, you, 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 
I swear to God, I saw like a Syracuse graduate, just like. I'm like, you work in PR, there's no chance. It's Slavia and it's Hugo now. Shut the fuck up. There's not a snowball's chance in hell. You fucker, you Jewish camp going women. Slovenia, Slovenia, Croatia, Croatia Serbia, Serbia, Montenegro, Montenegro uh, Macedonia. Macedonia. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I that. <laughs> I was like almost close. So that was a five-state solution. Yeah. Maybe Israel, Palestine should do that. Because I have like more religious Jewish cousins, and I wouldn't want to be in the same country as them at all. Could we do like an Israel and then like an Israel light? You know. So you're like a refugee. But like, now you look fabulous. <laughs> How many years of being a refugee before you were like, we're going to Jill Sander? I don't know why the show became this either, stop. I really think we should do a five-state solution, is that crazy? Why are you shaking your head no? You ask any Jewish girl, they're like, I went on birthright, that's why not. Because I got fucked near the Western Wall. Five state solution, it's in order of how much you hate Jews or Muslims. If you really hate Jews, you go to the deep Muslim state. If you really hate Muslims, you go to the deep Jewish state. And then you layer it, it's like a spectrum, it's like gender. What is the center one? The center one is like this beautiful, thank you. It's, I know you heckled me, but at this point all I need is buy-in at all. You were, it was a heckle, but it was quite helpful. You were like, we are interested, right guys? The center one is like a, it's like a bar mitzvah in LA. Where there's like brown people and Jewish people and you can't even tell which is which. You know in LA, that part of LA where it's like, are you Persian or Muslim or Jewish and you're speaking Farsi regardless? Why did they do the five state solution? Religion, religion. Religion, oh. There's literally a precedent worse than the current situation. <laughs> Except for the Jewish girls are like, what's bad about the current situation? <laughs> maybe, if I put that online, maybe. <laughs> Not in Yahoo, the really right wing. He's gonna see it and be like, God damn it, he has a point. <laughs>